Hello y'all. Welcome to part 8 of my Kingdom of Ukraine Khrushchev Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 7 we got a puppet and lost a puppet and also started a conflict over some places we have cores on. And right now I need to go to my research tree briefly, go to the tech tree, yes. Let's start researching, say, concentrated, concentrated industry three, get that done, start doing that. And let's build some military factories. We have some civilian factories that aren't being used, so build some stuff up in Pinsk and Mears, as well as Chernihov. Chernigov, I think that's also the name for it. I could be wrong though. That may be the name of it in another language potentially, or an older name. Build up some stuff in Tarnopol and Limburg, which does belong to it does belong to Galicia Lodomeria, but we took it from them in our advance into their territory. And I need to maybe reshuffle my front lines, because I have a strategy to win this war. We gotta win this war fast. That's preferable to a slow, long long conflict and I need to do what do I do here what do I do kingdom of Hungary do not focus on them I gotta use my I have a bunch of units for my puppets that are just gonna hold the line speaking of those puppets I need to transfer these forces here autonomous Cuban give it Cuban give us some forces give us some troops give me those divisions hand them over we need them they're not really doing anything anyway they're just watching the Black Sea and Azov Sea come on Belarus that's 15 divisions now in the third army and what do I do here what I'm gonna do now is restructure my divisions like so and the game plan is to push hard into Bohemia get the Prague force Bohemia to surrender then head down into the Austrian Empire's territory and try to win this war as fast as we can because I just don't want to have this war get dragged out so much and I need to probably, I don't know, move these divisions around a little bit here. They'll watch those front lines, yes. Maybe the front line is going to get gradually larger as we advance forward and just overwhelm the Austrian forces, well, the, the Dono Adria Bonn forces, which consist of Austria, Illyria, Hungary, Bohemia, Galicia, Lodomeria, and the Principality of Liechtenstein, Alaska, also Venice. And one thing I need to do right now, let me go ahead and turn off this player-led peace conferences. I'm doing, I'm doing that because I don't I do not want to take over Illyria from Serbia. I don't want to go to that peace conference and get any of the land there. We don't tend to, we don't basically occupy. I don't want that. So are my divisions in position yet? Some of them are, most of them are, I think. Are they? Are they? Okay. Are we ready? Let's do this. Go push, please. I believe in you, use force attack. We have the command power for this. I hope that'll be enough to just push through, unlock integrated support, do that now. Modify officer core, get artillery, high command focus, done. Also maybe, what else? What else do we need here? I don't think I can get anything else right now. Modified officer core again. Army logistics, that's less division attrition. So take advantage, take advantage of that and keep pushing, please. Overwhelm them. I need to use force attack as much as I can. That is definitely something we need to do. I don't know if division attrition affects us too much. I may regret getting that army command focus. And the Kingdom of Siam joins the co-prosperity spear get advanced machine tools started. Just research that. How's the Ottoman Empire doing? They're fighting a war, I think, and it looks like they're not winning. Georgia is they're advancing hard toward Constantinople and Ankara. Meanwhile, what in the world is Syria doing? That is a very interesting front line. The Cairo Axis is probably involved though. Meanwhile, Armenia is just watching everything happen, I guess. They're helping the Iranians, it seems. And now in the focus tree, let's start researching something else. We'll start a new focus, establish. No, don't do that. Do this here, the Khrushchevoika. Khrushchevoika. I guess this will give us some infrastructure in a few states, as well as a civilian factory in Kyiv. I think it refers to buildings, I'm not entirely sure though. Keep pushing, come on, use force attack again. I'll read that focus description soon. Just cause we're trying to, trying to advance forward as hard as we can right now. Select a technology to research. Start researching excavation three. So what does this say? Khrushchev Voika, Khrushchev Voika? It says, 
Kruchevyorka is the unofficial designation for a type of low-cost concrete panel three to five story department building developed at the request of our leader Nikita Khrushchev. Mass production of these structures should finally solve the housing problem in the rapidly expanding Ukrainian cities and will provide more employment and accommodation to the masses. Okay then, so that's what that's about. It's about buildings for the people of Ukraine. Push here, please. Come on, overwhelm them. Flank, 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 and encirclement, 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 and Austral. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, yes. Just keep the encirclement going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Don't stop. Make sure they stay trapped. Make sure they do not, do not escape that pocket. Keep them locked in there. No, don't abandon the front line. Get to Bohemia's capital. Do that, yes. Push more into Bohemia. Do it. Those guys are trapped. They cannot get out of there, I'm pretty sure. I believe they're trapped anyway. And let me take a few factories. How's logistics doing? Okay, we're doing fine with artillery for now. Take a few factories off of firearm infantry equipment, though. Put more on artillery pieces, because we do rely heavily on artillery for our superior firepower-oriented army. And now push here, take that state, good. We're pushing now into, pushing a lot more into into Eastern Bohemia, which we're trying to hold down. Get this encirclement settled, please. My goodness, these guys can't escape. They're stuck there, but we need to push harder. Push harder, yes. Thank you. Do that. Come on, get this encirclement established. We're losing ground now. Destroy these divisions, though. Crucial Vyukia is done. Yes. Now start doing new Ukrainian society. It says here, it will give a nation of true freedom, happiness, and equality. A united proletariat represented both in the fields, laboring, and in the government dictating. Now we can declare the foundation of a new nation, one that is directed by socialism. And this will modify a national spirit called comrade devotion by granting us more, more faster construction speed, a higher production efficiency cap, and higher factory output and this will give us an event called the new Ukraine which should be interesting so back on the war at hand do I make my front lines even smaller I want to say yes let's do that I gotta push hard into Bohemia we had to go down into Bohemia get into Bohemia then push into say Vienna and whatever other major Austrian cities need to fall for us to bring this war to an end because once they're all I mean, Austria is the leader. Illyria has capitulated. We can't really take anything. Yeah, we can't take anything. Okay, forget it. Done. Yeah, so Serbia annexed Illyria. That should make things easier for us. But we do have the push through here that will just get rid of a few troops for the Austrians. We had to get into Vienna and defeat them, especially the Austrians, I mean, because they are the faction leader of the Dunal Adria Bund. Once they go down, that'll be it. They need 10% or less of their of their victory points. So that means we have to capture a lot of cities. Come on, push through. My goodness, we're trying. We're trying so hard here. Just break through. One of our commanders got wounded. He's the commander, the general in charge of the 3rd Army. So that's probably not good. That's bad. Request more forces from the autonomous Cuban. You guys got to help us out here. All hands on deck. How many casualties have we taken? 54,000, Cuban is taking 3,000, Belarus 13,000, Poland 88,000, meanwhile Austrian Empire 52,000, Hungary, Bohemia 86,000, Hungary 22,000. Okay, use this again, force attack, please, is that enough? I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious, I just need to pause briefly, don't I? Yes, I do. Yeah, we don't have enough supply here, I think that's an issue. That is indeed an issue. Come on, move, 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 I say, move, yes, okay, do this for now, and just pause briefly, we need to build up organization a little bit, bring this division over, 19 divisions for the third army at this point, just keep holding your lines, dig in, and we need to prepare to push, and see what we can do as divisions have to move into position, how's equipment doing, we need so much artillery, so many artillery pieces, my goodness. All factories on artillery. Less infantry equipment production, please. Now I need tungsten for the artillery. Great, get it from Portugal. Thank you, Portugal, so much. Thank you, the Russian Socialist Republic. Join the Third International. Push, go. 
push. Go, 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 go. Overwhelm them. Please, get into Bohemia. And now build more military factories. Get all this done here. Thank you. Or just overwhelm them, please. My goodness, they have so many divisions here. We gotta get through. We just gotta break through their lines. And now the SRI is gonna fight the Italian Federation. Alright then. They put so many divisions here, my goodness. What is the issue? What is the problem? Is it supplies? The new Ukraine focus is done. Once defined by peasantry dominated agricultural society, Ukraine was always a battleground between Russian and European influence and control. Previously lacking, lacking a respectable government that put the Ukrainian people first, the tyrannical German affiliated monarchy is no more. The old backwards Ukraine is no more. This is what the this is what the event is saying. Thanks to Comrade Khrushchev, the Ukrainian state is rapidly industrializing and modernizing. Although set back by Kulak resistance and mismanagement of collective farming, the nation has rebounded with a centralized economic plan based upon the ever-growing factories that now dominate the farmland. The future of Ukraine is now, and without Comrade Khrushchev, there will be no new Ukraine. That's what that says. And in the focus tree, what do we do at this point? Established Ukrainian Aviation Board. And can we push through, please? My plan's sort of now not kind of working. They put quite a few divisions in Bohemia. We gotta push through, punch through their lines. What's the problem? What is the problem? What's the attrition stuff a mistake? Maybe what's the big deal? Manpower reinforcement is not possible at the current location. Why? Why? Why is that? I don't get it. We have tons of manpower. Is that why is that an issue? We're trying to push through here. Oh my goodness gracious, this is ridiculous. We're pushing through their armors in the way. Get rid of their armor divisions. Go. Is it supply? Is that the issue? Let me see here. Let me see. Let me see here. Okay, yeah, it may, it may be supply. And I can't build that up at all. I can a little actually. Yeah, we're gonna have to build that up. Pull more factories on supply. On railway production. That would be a good idea, without a doubt, because we need supplies for our divisions that are still struggling to push through enemy lines. Be more aggressive. Aggressively execute battle plans. Go. Get through their lines. We need to push this enemy back and win this war as fast as we can. Please, even if we're losing ground in Galicia Lodomeria now. That is unfortunate. They got Limburg under their control. We have to divide our forces so much. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Take this territory here. The fall of Constantinople. The Ottoman Empire just got carved up. It looks like, yeah, that is rough for them. Georgia, that is a big Georgia. Also a very big Iran that moved into Mesopotamia quite a bit. Definitely so. Now, the Turkish commune is a thing. Can we keep pushing here? Please, advance. Take these provinces, come on. We gotta get it to Venice. Venice is key. It is key. Well, not Venice. Vienna. It starts with a V. I think that's why I was thinking of Venice. And die bomber. We're losing ground in Galicia Lodomeria. These guys are not holding very well. Request some divisions from Belarus. Please, thank you. Come hold the line. Come hold the line. Thank you. Get down here. Thank you. Be great. So are we still struggling to supply our divisions? Is that the case? It seems to be the case. Can we get into Bohemia? I need to just defeat the Austrians. They need to fall. That's the idea anyway. Use force attack and see if we can take advantage of that at all. Unlock regimental combat teams. Yes. Keep pushing. How supply going? Not as bad as it was. I think because we've built those railways. How's that coming along? Okay, I don't think they're done, but it's just we don't have to worry about supply being stacked up so much in one place now as our divisions try and go forward here. The first Ukrainian army needs to have major success. We could potentially have an encirclement here if we can just achieve it. We're pushing into Vienna. We're pushing into Austria more. But we just gotta take the positions here. My goodness. Just go into Austria. Forget Bohemia. Bohemia. Just don't worry about Bohemia anymore. Just focus on Austria and head there. Yes. Just get into that country and push through any opposition you run across. That would be terrific. Very, very terrific. Just win this part of the war. Just push, get a victory here. 
and this war is over. It has to be over. My goodness, they were pushing now towards Salzburg, Klagenfurt, Klagenfurt, Graz. Vienna still stands. It's being held by the Austrians still. We're going to have to capture it soon, though. And one of our commanders, the general of the second army in charge of that force, he got injured. Oh, well. And I think now, I don't know, keep pushing. Just don't stop pushing. I'm going to end what is part eight of my kingdom of Ukraine, Khrushchev Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron for mod Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the mod, you can check it out in the video description. The link to it is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.